We we're just looking at the modulator for uh, for Bill's main transmitter, and this is the main transmitter. It stands uh, it stands in the six foot rack here. If you go around the back and take a look at what we have here. Oh yeah. I'm talking about high voltage, man. Careful, man. There's high voltage down there. There's the uh, modulator again from the rear. Yeah. And uh, here's the uh, here's the amplifier. A pair of uh, 4-250As. And here's the negative cycle loading uh, resistor bank that Bill uses. And there is the uh, the large diodes that uh, that that conduct on the uh, negative half cycle. And uh, there's the uh, dummy load that Bill uses. Dummy load. Yeah, right, right there, that large bulb. Oh, that's for the yeah. primary. In my house, that's I. That's in the primary. Oh, oh, yeah, that's in the primary. That's not the dummy load. Yeah, that's for tuning. Yeah, huh? XYL is not a dummy load either, so we won't get into that. Yeah. Pull pig, pull transfer. Holy smokes! What's that pull pig for now? That's for the modulator. That's just for the modulator. Holy yeah. smokes! There's a very act for the modulator. There's a very act. You know, when K1KV was here, he took a picture of this RF deck. And That's there, not the RF deck. That's the modulator. Or, or the modulator, yeah. pardon me. And there was a hole in one of the plates. The size of a silver dollar. Was it? <laughs> it was most, a hole. I know most that. of those holes, are they sort of start, they, they sort of burn like a silver dollar, don't they? Uh, yeah. Yeah. You made a round hole, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's sure nice to see you in your station by your uh, by your vintage equipment, Bill. This is going to be a real treat for those who haven't uh, met you before. And this was wired up temporary, and it's been that way for 20 years. <laughs> <laughs> got it to work in the state that way. Hey, uh, I got I got some temporary work around W6PSS shack. You can uh, you can do when you come out, Bill.